Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to do a haul video. We're emptying out the pilot just so it's a little of this and a little of that and hopefully one of us will remember where we got it from. Well, we emptied out part of the pilot. Part of the pilot. We emptied out half of the back seat. So I'm going to just pick stuff and show you what it, um, what we paid for it, what it is. If I can find comps for it, I'll have them up on the screen for you. But just kind of, you know, get through this stuff so that I can get it listed. I'm trying to be better about sharing more stuff with you guys. Um, but I have got to get some more stuff from the, uh, the bins that we went to. What month? March. March. I'm still not done with that stuff. And I'm hoping to go again next month back to um, Missouri to you know fill a trailer but i gotta get some more stuff done so i'm gonna get a bunch of hauls done here real soon um robert picked this up at a yard sale two bucks it's funny we i remember this one we pulled up to it and i'm like i'm not getting out and he's like get out go look so i get out and i go look and, and then i stayed he, in the car he stayed in the car and then he's like i guess he looked this up and said go get that so i think this was the only thing we bought there that day but just uh it says yorkshire glassware it's about 25. oh mainstay that's walmart mm -hmm. yep so very cool people love the mason jar shaped stuff pieces and parts pieces and parts this is a black and decker shortcut we will be parting this out i think i saw comps that were like about ten twelve dollars for this i think this was like twenty dollars free shipping um this part and then there'll be this part and then if this works which we don't even worry about when we buy them if it works then we'll list this but usually oh wait and then and the no. lid there's a lid in there yeah somewhere. there's a lid somewhere for this um i want to say all in all probably could get what maybe 25 30 dollars for it all but you know probably, we just probably more like 40. oh you think 40. I, I'm, oh, oh you mean as a as a as a whole thing yeah as a whole thing oh yeah probably i didn't look it up for the whole thing i never do probably um, maybe probably 20, 20 25 maybe so but it's so much easier just to part it out and let people um buy the parts that they need that have been damaged or they bought it at a yard sale and it's missing this um so we provide that for them and it wasn't 12 it was half price day. yeah so, it was so half price day so we paid six for it they had another nicer one there but they had 25 on it which would have been 12.50 on half price day and i just i didn't want Passed. to pay yeah it was a little more than i wanted to pay if they, if they would have been under 10 i'd have probably done it which sounds kind of it's only a couple bucks but it's a psychological bar barrier maybe <laughs> we like being frugal we like being frugal you like being frugal and i like not getting yelled at exactly and then more pants that he picked up on half price day the pile's getting smaller it's getting smaller but there's tons tons out there that needs to get worked on but this is a good brand i wanted to bring this one up it is called rocky mountain it has very good and it's the high-waisted maybe this will be something we'll put on depop it's the high-waisted cotton vintage jeans definitely when you're out and about check the comps on any jeans and stuff that you're going to buy very good brand to be looking for i paid well, i paid three on those on on full price day but a lot of times those will comp out at above 30 and up into the, up to around 50 plus yeah. shipping for those and i the next day i went back on half price day i found a black pair but i think they're in a stack in the car still probably all right and then i'm pretty sure this is our little estate sale company that we like to go to but this wasn't this week this was either last week or the week before I just like look a dollar it's a little wooden um, recipe card book I didn't do comps on it 
but I know that these are a bolo, especially also if you find them with little handwritten cards in them. People love that. This is vintage Kmart. I want to see if I can see if it has somebody else on here. I don't think so, but it's it's a music box. Christmas. Make sure when you're buying stuff like this that um don't be like me. I think something got broke off right here and I didn't even notice it. Looks like there's supposed to be an elf there. Yeah, look his little foot and he would have been going back. So that's kind of annoying, but I learned you can still sell this stuff. Again, don't be like me and sell uh, a, a peanuts little thing like this for $10 in your booth when another one exactly like yours in the exact same piece broken sold for $99 on eBay. So I'll definitely check the comps. If this was like only worth 20 bucks, um, you know, I'm not sure what I would do with it. List it for 10. Somebody might still want it. Of course, I'm 50-50 with probably even worse than that at this point. I'm buying stuff like this that has batteries and it actually work in. Look how cute that is. Of course, we're past Halloween, but that's all right. It is Jimmy, so it'll be interesting to see how much this is worth. I will still list it like now and it can sit or somebody can buy it, you know, for next year. Look, love this. I'm thinking this was three dollars. Look how cute. Definitely vintage carnival style plush. Probably like I'll probably list it about 15 or so. And that will need to be shipped in a priority box, not only because it's probably over a pound, but you really when the the, the plush are filled with that hard, um, a lot of times it's like fibrous paper or stuff like that. If you put that in a poly bag and it gets twisted, it's probably going to rip a seam. And you just don't want to do that. And by the time you put it in a box, it's going to be over a pound. Yeah, exactly. But it felt like it was over already. Look, look how absolutely adorable. Look at the mouse. It says, hug me, her face, eyelashes, very cute, and she is happiness aid, well made, plush. I don't know. My gut says, I'll probably list her maybe 30 or more dollars, just depends. A lot of times with stuff like this, there are no others. So I'm going to just pick a price point, have best offer on, and see what happens. I will check worth point also. I just love that. That is the adorable part. And when you list this for $75 and you get a $30 offer in a couple months, you'll go look and see if there are any comps. Exactly. I'll go check, see if somebody else has listed it, um, what they have it listed. Still, again, if there is any comps, for solds uh, and then I'll base my price I do I have done it I'll have it listed for 50 and I'll get a you know $30 offer and some people will be like oh no they're just lowballing me and I go look and it's it's reasonable and I accept it or there's still nothing it's just you, yeah and if there's nothing just you're just make making the gone. price up you're just making yeah. the price up because you're based on condition age what you need this in your experience Brand. Brand. yeah and you're just kind of making a price up, kind of throwing it out there. And mm -hmm. sometimes it sells for that. And sometimes you'll and take sometimes it sells immediately. And you're like, uh oh, did I underprice it? But that's just the game we play, right? Right buyer, right price, right, buyer, right time, right search. Yes. A lot of times they've saved searches, especially for the vintage plush like this. And there was something else I was about to say. And you made me forget. 
I blame you. You said that in the last video we I just know. recorded. I know. Blaming me for your defects. I know. Look, this is absolutely adorable, and it seems so familiar, but I don't know. It's very, very familiar. I think it's supposed to be holding something there, but I love it. Here's a doll. I have been buying a bunch of dolls recently. This one says, Baby Cries for You on the bib. It is, look, Vintage Mattel, 1979. And it's got a pull string and... And I paid four dollars for her. I don't think I got her on half price day. I tend not to. I don't wait. If I find something that I like, I'm going to buy it because there's a chance I may not get back to the half price sale. So I'm I'm all in when I find these dolls. But I just thought it was adorable. It could be a twelve dollar plush or doll, or it could be something great, especially because it is working. I bought this. Look, I already have one, so I might figure out what I'm going to do with it. But it is vintage Fisher Price. I don't think it's worth a lot, but I'm going to save it no matter what. But a little rattle. I haven't even gone through this, but it was a bag of vintage. Don't know if it no. Yeah, I think these are doll clothes and maybe some vintage. See, look, that's. That's definitely baby. But I just, I went ahead and grabbed it all. This, I think, this is a, to a Mattel doll. The fabric seems very familiar. And I don't see a tag. It's got some issues. Yeah, it needs definitely soaked in Oxy and then washed. But I think she charged me a dollar for this whole bag. Look, this seems very familiar. I'm not sure if it's Mattel or maybe Ideal. One of those dolls. If I can't find out by Google Lens, I may um, post it in a doll group and see if they can help me. Look at this sweater. I have a pile that way of vintage kids clothes that I got to get to. The problem with them is they sat in storage forever and they really do need wash but I have found the few times that I've tried to wash a few of the pieces that they just disintegrate. You know the the strings start coming out everywhere and so I've been listing a few of them stains and all. A lot of times I don't clean like the doll clothes the dolls, like the My Child doll, I let the buyers who know what they're doing restore them and clean them because they're going to know the best way to get this stuff clean. It's like the My Childs. I have sold many of them. And um, every once in a while, they'll send me a picture back and they'll show how, how beautiful she is after they've restored her. If I tried... I, I would be sad because more than likely I'm going to damage it not knowing what to do. Same with the, the the vintage kids clothes. I don't want to damage them and I have and so I'm just going to list it. When I get to them I'm going to list them as is, show good pictures of the discoloration if there's any damage um, and then let let the people who know what they're doing deal with it. If what were, We were recording a haul video the other day and it was from the stuff that we bought at our Wednesday estate sale that we went to. Well, we decided Thursday that we needed to go back because I was missing a few pieces to an action figure, which I never did find, but it's on our way to the post office. So we went back and I bought more stuff. This is a Robert thing. Rawlings, right here you're going to see HO35. HC35. Oh, HC35 Large USA. Paid $3 for it. And when he brought it to me, I'm like, 
always. Why? Why? It just looks rough. But there are two listed and one sold. The two listed are from 80 to 135. 135. I think one has the ear things, but the other one doesn't even have the face mask part. But the one that sold, sold for how much? I can't remember. Can't remember. We'll put a comp up because we did look at it. It was, um, it was a, was, I think it might have been a little different. Maybe a but, tad. But I'm hoping maybe, what? 60 or 80. Yeah. My gut's saying more like 40 to 50. But I'll go high and see what happens. Take that best offer. Best offer is our friend. Because this is, you take some guy that, they, they had a little, they have these little figurines that are like 12 inches tall, little football players, and you can paint them yourself. And they had one there. It was a like quarterback. The ceramic. I've sold one before, the little ceramic. And it was a it was a quarterback, and of course they had it painted as Randy White, who was a linebacker for the Dallas Cowboys. He's never going to throw a football, <laughs> but they had him on a quarterback figurine. But people will do that, you know, to something, you know, from their childhood or something. And you know, this is. I mean, I started high school in '83, so this is the kind of helmet that we would have been wearing. When, when I started high school and played football, and there's somebody that might want this to paint their old helmet like their school mat, like their school colors would have been back in the day. Mm -hmm. And that they're willing to do that. So, yep. craft project for somebody. Y'all, look at my earrings. I showed these recently. I paid 50 cents at a yard sale. I think they're my all-time new favorite earrings. I think they're just cute. All right. We had technical camera issues again. Battery. But, show you a few more things from that same sale that we went back to. And I learned something. Because I looked at, I have eyeballed these. I'm terrible for that. I eyeballed these the first day we went. And didn't even check them. Again, waiting for Robert. I just kind of started looking at this stuff. And realized, there's some decent comps for them. So let me show you what we bought. There was a bunch of this stuff there and it says Benjamin and Medwin on this piece but I think they all are and I've sold I think oh I know what this was now the Pillsbury Doughboy kitchen stuff that I bought a while back was Benjamin and Medwin also but I started checking this stuff and there is really good comps on these copper things I don't remember what this was but I paid a dollar for it. It says, Hopefully, it says matches. It says there. matches. So I'm thinking you put like a box of matches. You know, the big matches like in by there. Your, by your fireplace or something. Mm -hmm. And then I did see, I only have two of these. I think there's a set of three. But I saw um, sold comps for like $39. Unless they're full size. I don't remember checking that part. But these two little like fish and lobster... They were jello molds, right? Yeah, these are all jello molds. And then this one, they charged me a dollar. They're all marked made in Korea. And then there was this one also. But there was some really good comps. 20 and $30 for some of these type molds. So I learned something waiting, waiting on Robert. But also there were these, which Robert ended up picking these. But again, they've got the copper bottom, the cork tops, but there's those two and two more. So it's a graduated like canister set of canister some sort. Set what are something. they? Tell us what they are. I don't know. And I'm, I'm hoping maybe they're that same brand, but there's no stickers on them. But we paid five dollars for the entire set of these. And I saw something that looked similar, that had I think two of them for like fifty dollars or something. It was it was a crazy price compared. But I, it wasn't exactly like this, but it was something similar. My only concern, and we've not tried yet, is, you know, what's the stability of these corks? You know, if I go to start pulling them out, are they going to disintegrate? Which I'm going to need to do that just because, you know, I don't want to buy or get in them. 
But Robert got his off. Oh, yeah, I got mine off. So seem, I squish them. They seem all right. Okay. So that's, you know, I'm hoping maybe $50 or more on those also. They just need a good wipe down. Again, with brass and with this copper, I'm not going to do anything to them. I wipe them down to make sure they're clean. But some people like to have the patina, the discoloration, the... The, the the age the age on them if they want to polish them then I'm gonna leave that to the buyer and that's what I put in my listings leaving all cleaning and polishing to the buyer if they choose to do it and Robert bought this he's done some amazing picks recently on um, books so this was Appaloosa it does have its um, Dust jacket. Dust jackets are the paper covers to the vintage books. Um, it says, published by the Eamon Carter Museum of Western Art. I think their hardback books were $2. Um, I think they do like soft covered books are a dollar. Do you remember anything on this one? This is sold for $35. Sold. Sold for $35. Turvis. I don't normally pick up that many Turvis. Um, I just thought these were unique and it was a set of two and they're slightly different. So I went ahead and grabbed them. I think their cups were 50 cents and their coffee mugs were a quarter. So I paid a dollar for them. On books, I see a lot of the like Dean Koontz or Patterson. Is there a can you sell those hardbacks in lots? Is mm -hmm. there? Does anybody know about that? Can can Because at this estate sale there was a, a book bookcase full of that kind of stuff by different authors and a lot of a lot of it was in hardback is is there a market if i had six or eight of them at two bucks is. each can i especially sell that for like, 50 or something or especially um who's the the guy that wrote who's the the horror guy the spooky writer stephen king. stephen king his hardcover books especially if they have the dust jackets do very well but yeah we we, we need to do better with books because i think that was probably a missed opportunity um and there's there's several authors that i think do do well in large lots but again you're having to deal with big boxes heavy boxes medium mail so so if you know of any of the authors that we could do that way let us know yeah and put it in the comments and we'll bring it up in a video so everyone else can learn from it because we know that the um uh, Harlequin romances in large lots are crazy money. Crazy great money. Because we pick them up for free a lot of times. Because people just, they read a bunch of them and they want them gone. They want them gone. All right. A um, couple more little things. Robert grabbed these. Uh, Dodge Motorsports. Let's see, there's something down here. Made in the USA. 100% cotton. It's a little... What are these called? Bandanas? Bandanas. Oop. So two of them. I think there's a third one in there somewhere. Oh. Yep. Folded up. So that's good. That'll be a nice quick one quantity times three. Now Chris, the old school picker, had an issue with Dodge recently. He had a shirt Ooh. that had a Walmart tag on it uh, that he got a Vero on. So go go check out his video. I will try to remember... I'll probably forget because I get that sometimes. You were supposed to link Lori's videos. I did, I've done that a time or two to different people. But there should be a link in the video description to Chris's video about his experience with that Vero. So if it's not there. Now that makes me worried about that for us. Hopefully we won't get a Vero on it. If anybody knows why Dodge went after him. But yeah, I don't know. I showed this in one of our last vi um, last haul videos. I found a second one. It's Hut Strickland and Jimmy Johnson, a McDonald's thing. I want to say these were like fifteen dollars, like twelve to fifteen dollars on eBay, and I paid a dollar each. Always, always looking for advertising. This is actually plastic, also like those thermo serve, but it's not marked. But look, Mason Dixon, take a break for safety. I'm hoping, you know, like ten or twelve dollars for it. I'm stretching back in my American history class. I think Mason and Mason and Dixon were surveyors that did a 
mm. surveyed one of the, the latitudes for something way back in the 1800s, and that's why we have the Mason-Dixon Dixon line. Dixon line, yep. All right, and then BHS, pick these up. I know to watch for spooky movies. The problem, well, this is still sealed, and I know it's the original, so because it still has this um, Hills Department Store sticker on it. It's the cartoon. It says Kenner. I don't remember. I'll put up comps. All the videos were, I think, a dollar each. So this one's still sealed. The problem with this one is they've taken a box and cut the box up and put it in a clam on a clamshell type or a hard plastic case, but it does have the original tape in there. I don't remember on this one either. A part of me thinks there were solds for like 30 bucks for it. I just don't know if it's going to be an issue because the box got cut up, but I, I wouldn't think so. I, you know, I'm not going to, I'll just disclose it. And then there were a lot of westerns there. This one was sealed and I did find sold comps on it. But again, I don't remember what it was, but it's Silverado. They were horse people. They had a lot of horse horse equipment for sale. Oh. A lot of their books, was, books were about horses. So, yeah, there were quite a few westerns, but I scanned quite a few of them waiting on Robert and not any of them were. They were all coming up the usuals that are, you know, three and four dollars free ship. So I didn't bother with them. But this, this was a, a liquidation estate sale. The people mm -hmm. were still alive. They were just clearing a lot of their stuff. So they hired the estate sale company to set up in their, uh, it was like, like it was a, a huge a shop. It was a shop, shop barn type thing. It was packed with stuff. But yeah, I like, I like this company and the, the sales. Their prices are reasonable and it's, you know, we do well there for the most part. So... All right, I hope you enjoyed that. This is just a few bags, more bags out of the car. We've got tons in there that we've got to get to. And we are going to Nashville next week. Maybe this video will be out before we do. Probably will be out. Um, we're going to hit the Goodwill bin so I can participate in Courtney's, the Bolo Buddies, Bingo, Ben's Challenge. All right, let's get to work. Bye.